Hello guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel that is post myself Ajay and I hope you are doing great. So friends, in this working video, I'm going to show you how to create the beautiful, very basic admin dashboard template in Angular 16 with backend data. So guys, before showing you working demo and code, I must say, please watch the video till the end and please subscribe my channel for latest Angular updates. So guys, here we go. So see, here's a beautiful admin dashboard template for all kinds of websites so it can be used with basic and advanced level as well here is left sidebar see and content section see guys and you can see his table and I'm getting this data from backend via web API so guys before showing you working demo and code, I must say, please watch the video till the end and please subscribe my channel and support me as well. So here we go, sidebar and content. Also the toggle sidebar, fully working with default angular click event. And for responsiveness, I can say it is fully responsive as well. See this. Yes, maybe it will work for all the devices. So no need to worry about responsiveness. It will work. And for this backend data, here is my web API. It is totally free and you can use in your project as well. And here is my code. Very first, I have added my HTML inside app.component.html file and my default styles that I have added inside styles.css inside source folder. You, you can see styles.css file and one port with some style I have added inside index.html file inside source folder. You can see. And also, I have added bootstrap. So, I have added bootstrap styles inside and go to JSON file and JS inside. Same styles and script for command. I have used npm install bootstrap. You can see here and npm i pop.js as well. And this are and for friends. No need to about worry about this code. I will share the code snippet link as well inside this video description. And for get the services from backend, I've added stpp the client module with supported services. Also import here, yeah. and here's my component.ts file where where again importing. STPP client, see the service is very good, and here's my local event. This one, and inside constructor, I'm calling the API to get the data. Very simple from STPP client, see, guys, very simple. And say subscribe, I'm getting data and saving into my data variable that I have declared here. That's it. And I'm calling here inside the table. Very simple. And if for loop, let group of data and group ID, name, email, and job title. Very simple. See. So, guys, have you seen? It's very simple, you can do as well, very easily. So, for very basic developers, will get help, helpful this tutorial as well. And friends, if you will have any kind of query, suggestion or requirement, then feel free to comment on this video. Also, please contact me via my blog, I will share 
all the details in this video description and friends in the end i must say thank you for watching this video thank you have a nice day take care bye bye